Hello and welcome to Knife Delights and welcome to the first edition of Roadside Ramblings. This is a spot in a little county park here where I stop and uh, shoot my windshield EDC updates every day on my way to work. It's right, along, right off the highway here. Got a little shelter haw house there. Back in the distance there's a little small lake back there. Here in the Midwest they're referred to as prairie potholes because they're just little shallow depressions in the land really but uh, I wanted to get started out here because I have been remiss there are a lot of channels that uh, deserve to be recognized and I want to start off here with Brian's knives come on and focus there we go Brian's been a wonderful supporter of knife delights and I just want to thank him so much for all of his support but look at this great sticker no knife dull life way to go there Brian Hey everyone, make sure and check out Brian's Knives. You bet. Give him a sub. You bet. Um, there's also been some other channels that, well, <laughs> I've been remiss. Sorry. I need to give them their proper due. But in addition to Brian's Knives, we've got Rasmussen's Castle. Fantastic channel. I really love love seeing uh, his videos and uh, talk about old knives and history. We got pens and pen blades. He's been another great supporter of the channel. Make sure and check him out. We got Radio Geek Blades, another great supporter of the channel. Richter Knives and Kentucky Knife Hunter. So there you go. There are six channels that I think everybody should go and check out and give a sub to. This is fantastic. We just got a, a wonderful growing community. And thank you all so much for starting a channel and, and showing us your knives. I'm going to pause here just a minute so we can get on the road. Well, here we go, on the way to work. I have about a 45 mile commute one way, so that's part of the reason with this job that I took here about six months or so ago, why I end up having about an hour and a half commute time every day, so that shortens my day down and less time to work on the channel and watch everybody's videos and comment and keep up with email and all that good stuff so but this is kind of a good alternative I think this roadside rambles why let me do my shout outs that need to be done recognition that needs to be done also want to recognize you know RJ's knives and he's got a live show I'm sure you know about but uh got a live show every Sunday at 12:30 Central, 10:30 Pacific. We have a wonderful panel of guests. Um, and typically we got Terry's knives and man stuff, we got Gunslinger and Cal, and we got Baxter's blades, and then we uh, rotate another guest in and out. But just fantastic. We have a great time every Sunday. If you really like knives and you like uh, live shows why Sunday is your day because you can start it out at 1030 Central and you got the slippy and thrifty show they're they're doing a bang up job and then of course you got happy hour live chat at 6 30 p.m. Central time and that of course is Big J and Kevin from uh, Boston Blade Reviews they're doing a, a bang up job also with their lives so there's plenty of knife content out there for everyone. I do want to say that, uh, also bring up that Kalen from Gunslinger Cal and Terry from Terry's Knives and Man Stuff, they got Kalen and Terry's Corner, and that's a, a pre-recorded show that they put together. It's about 15 minutes long, usually, somewhere in there on Wednesday mornings is when they upload it. And they pretty much take a knife pattern they both love case knives, so usually like a case pattern and they discuss it in depth. So that's a lot of fun. So make sure and uh, catch Kalen and Terry's Corner on Wednesday mornings or Wednesday to throughout the day, whenever you can catch it. And then we have another new show. It's the SHTF Apocalyptic Invasion Show. And I understand that's kind of a working title maybe, not sure. That's been started by Jesse McJames and Randy's WSG. And correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Randy or Jesse, if, but I think it's 
going to be coming out on Thursdays or it's a live show on Thursdays, uh, I need to get some more information on that. But isn't that what's so fantastic about, you know, our knife community is we have such a, a wide range of talent and different topics to be discussed and different types of collections and I tell you, it's just a great time to be a member of this community. Uh, I did want to give a little bit of a channel update. I'm, I gotta say, I'm just over the moon, as Patty would say. Uh, the channel just seems to be doing great. Um, over 2,500 subs, working my way to three. That'll take a few months yet, but uh, golly, I have so so such great support. I can't. I'm kind of stuttering here, you know. <laughs> I have such great support, great viewers, great subscribers, and I just want to thank everybody for for all of your support, the kind words, and uh, yes, I even got Mrs. Knife Delights involved in a recent video, and everybody complimented her for doing a great job, and her and I sure had a, a fun time, and we were showcasing and reviewing the first knife that I've gotten from the new case Ictus uh, Shield series of knives just come out in 2024. Uh, the Ictus knives for this year, it has uh, G10 inlays and they're seafoam in color. Just gorgeous knives. So uh, she reviewed, reviewed the toothpick the other day and I've got one in the canoe pattern on its way. But I gotta tell you, the postal system, <laughs> oh my goodness, my knives are just like traveling halfway around the world before they make it to me. Just not sure what's going on with our postal service, but goodness gracious. Uh, I should have had it yesterday or today. It probably won't get here till tomorrow. I'm hoping it gets here tomorrow, which is Saturday. I don't wanna have to wait all the way to Monday, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, my only disappointment is I have not seen any of the websites that show the new vault cap pattern, the case vault pattern for 2024, and that's the razor knife. Now typically, they come out with a vault pattern knife, they do one with the you know, ictus shield on it, and I have not seen one of the razor knives with the ictus shield. And that's kind of a break in tradition. I hope they do. That way I, I, I can get my ictus knife and the vault knife all in one knife. So we'll see what happens there. Now I usually spend a lot of time watching coverage from the SHOT Show every year. But by golly, I just haven't had a chance to sit and watch very many of them. I did see some videos on the new buck knives. Um, you know, they're coming out with more and more modern knives, and that seems to be really their focus, uh, which is good. I know they got to keep up with the market. They're, you know, meeting the market demand. They got to stay in business. They got to make money. So, more power to them. As far as I'm concerned, eh, I'm neither here nor there. I'm not against modern knives, but that's just not my focus. Um, I have some modern folders to suit me for certain needs. But I don't collect them. So I guess the one bright spot is they did come out with the Alpha Hunter fixed blade. And they came out with the standard 428C steel, which made them much more affordable. I know last year they came out with the uh, Alpha Hunter series, but it was with the premium steels. And it drove the price up to around $200 or so. Yeah, I just wasn't going to spend that much money. But now that they got one, you know, that's around $100, a little over $100, you know, maybe I'll invest in one. We'll see. And they did come out with a new Buckmaster, a newly designed Buckmaster. Of course, that was a knife designed uh, by a Navy SEAL, I believe. A tactical dive knife, if you will. But, again, it's kind of a limited edition. I think they only made a 1,000 of them or nine. Yeah, a 1,000 of them, and they... They're pricey. They're like $900. So, 
guess this is one person that won't be owning one of the new Buckmasters. <laughs> Not immediately, anyway. Maybe 10 years from now, I'll find one in an antique store that's affordable, but I doubt it. Well, I'm going to let you go for now. Um, again, I'm going to try to do some roadside ramblings. Helps me get rid of some of these administrative things and announcements and to do some shout outs. So, once again, check out all of those channels. And until next time, have a very delightful day.